Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. So today I decided to fix my driver's side window. So um, if you guys remember, if you've seen my previous video when I did the door panel on the passenger side, I was going to fix uh, the window on the driver's side, but then it started working. Uh, a couple days later, it got stuck in a closed position. It wouldn't even go down, and it is kind of annoying when the, you can't open the driver's side window. I mean, passenger side might be okay, but the driver's side is kind of annoying. Um, and then I was like, you know what? It's time to change it. I drove it like that for like a week, and then it start working. I know, um, but it actually, this is what it's doing. Did you hear that? If not, here it goes again. I know. So you close the window and it goes brrr. And when it goes up, it's actually having a hard time going up. Listen to this. Oh, actually, there you go. Yeah, it's actually, it's that's it. It's stuck again in a closed position. So uh, I'm gonna take it apart fix it and um, if you never done a window on your car here's the thing you have to take this entire um, window regulator there's a four bolts one right here one where's it? right there right here right here and then the heck type of thing so if you never done one um, look at your car when you not the car but the door when you take the door panel off uh, you might have a rivets if you have rivets that means that you still have original uh, motor or the regular on it or whoever if they worked on it they put the rivets on it um, so I have screws bolts whatever bolts with the nuts on it I'm gonna take this out, but here's the video of me taking one with the rivets on it and how to take it off and I'll show you how to put it on I guess after you look at that video. Okay, so here we are at pick and pull. Yes, pick and pull. Um, and I found, let me flip the camera around. I found this E36. I don't know what year is this. Let me say. But who cares? 323. So I'm gonna take this window regular off of this car. Cause they're all pretty much the same. As long as you have the same plugs. Um, I think the two uh, four door has one plug, but you have to double check on yours. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna show you how to. Because if yours never been taken off, then you have these rivets here, which is it can be pain in the butt to take it off. So uh, let me take this stuff off of it this one has our back as well but we don't need that take this off and I'll be right back cuz I forgot my tripod okay it's off so next thing you want to do is the easiest way is to punch these out this rivet use using this and a hammer so let me punch them out and I'll be right back cuz trust me you don't want to see me use a hammer on a BMW you can see that I punched them out. They're actually pretty easy. They came out easy on this one. I had a hard time on one, but. And you take a drill, where it's right here, and drill. I drilled this one out right here, and I'll show you. It's super easy. This one didn't give up without the fight, so let's see how this one goes. Oh, yeah. Hi. So this is out on this side. You have this here, and it comes out, and 
usually have to take the wind out, but this one's busted up, so. So it's out. Um, and here's it's upside down. If um, yours is still working, you still have power and all that, sometimes you have to readjust these because uh, there's like two, uh, three screws that's holding this motor. You have to take these out and the motor comes out. And sometimes, like I said, if the window's all the way down or up, <clears throat> whatever the position, uh, is gonna cover one of these bolts or this one. So you have to readjust it. And this one actually, even though the window was broken, it still has all these tabs right here. And to take these out, you take this pin out and it comes out. But this, um, in this case, I just want to slide this out. Oh, not with one hand. And see if they're still good, because if you own the BMW and you've done windows, you know these things break easy. So I'm going to take the, um, the motor out and these, and I'll grab it. Take the screws out. And there you go. Comes right out. So here's a perfect example of why these motors fail. Um, a lot of gunk on it, and they stop. Where is the And they have a hard time moving back and forth here. So if your window is stuck like this in the up position, you, um, you have to get it down and to to able to get to these here. You can kind of see this one right here. Uh, the slider which is inside here. And there's one. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's, it's kind of hard to see it, but you follow this here it goes all the way up and it's the sliders there so they have a clips the one that you've seen in the video uh, when I took this off so all you have to do or at least it always work in my case uh, loosen the entire um, the mount or not the mount but the uh, loosen the entire regulator and it'll actually takes the tension of the window and it will start working again but don't put it back on don't let, just replace the motor because it's gonna do it again later so I'm gonna loosen it get the window down and I'll show you what else to do Okay, it won't even go down anymore. Yeah. Well, I guess it still goes down enough for me to get to these here. So. There's same exact one on this side right there. So, so to take these things apart, what I usually do is I take a screwdriver, stick it right here, then kind of pry it. That's it, right there. And same thing on the other side.
Always test it before you put it on too. Watch your fingers when you do that. It's working. So, always grease this stuff. These here, the teeth and everything. And do same thing on the inside. So this is the slider or the sliding part. This here, these are um, it's probably three, four months old. I got these new. They're expensive if you buy it from dealer, but I got these from eBay, and they're still pretty good. I think I paid like five dollars or something for four. So I'm gonna clean these up and put more grease in here. This side. And same thing on this side, get this one out. And before you put these on, Get these um, clips. Make sure that the clip goes this. The right side goes this way. The left side goes this way. So next time, if you do have to take the the whole thing out, it'll be easier to get to it when it's sticking out on this side because you have more access on the inside part. There you go. I guess it's better to put the clips first and then grease it because it's really slippery. So when you put this on, these here, they go inside here. So sometimes you can push them with the hand together. I usually use uh, pliers to kind of Put them together so i guess if you're strong enough you can use a hand but don't force them like don't push it on it because you can break a window So here I actually lined this up and there you go, it clipped in, actually it worked with just pushing it with the hand. Just don't push it from here, like I said, because you can take a chance of breaking a window, but kind of put them, like squeeze them together. So, okay, quick tip for you guys. If you don't know, because I didn't know that too, I just learned that um, if you are buying a used motor, just a motor, no regulator. Um, this one, this one. Some of them, they do look alike. I think they're rear on the four door. Or there's a certain year that the, these plugs are different, but if you have two door, make sure you buy off a two door. The reason why is this here. See how we close it? Goes up and down. 
when you close and open the door um, on the four door you don't have that and actually it drove me nuts when I put that motor that you saw me put it in um, after I closed the door it just wouldn't go up uh, push the window all the way up and it actually was jumping over this little nudge thing so um, good thing that I actually had spare one so I put a spare one with the regulator and everything all together so now when you close the door the window goes up and down the way it's supposed to go up and down so let me show you how you adjust that So when you're looking at this, actually mine's already adjusted, I don't have to do anything, but sometimes it'll be like that. So it's gonna overlap. So all you have to do is just don't tighten this bolt on the other side because when you move the window, see I'm moving the window, and the whole thing goes up. So There you go, that's enough. So now, you tighten this. There you go. Now you can't really move the window or that, so you close, goes all the way up. And you can see the gap actually goes all to the left and I can readjust it a little bit but if I do it's gonna be really close right here you can see so and finally windows working Um, when you disconnect the motors and everything and you know how when you push the button automatically go up and it goes up and you push it goes down you don't have to hold the button uh, if you do disconnect the motor and then plug it back in and everything connected it's not gonna work right away it's gonna take a couple cycles uh, sometimes it takes a day sometimes two days depending um, but it'll work eventually it'll actually reprogram or whatever but it's gonna work it's gonna go up and down by just pushing a button all the way down pushing all the way up so it's gonna work the way it's supposed to um, I also have and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with the rear window because if you have a two-door uh, summertime if you park it outside, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get those windows open because when you get in the car, it's super hot and you have to climb all the way back and open them. So let me show you what I did. So check it out what I did for that. I don't have uh, connected to the switch yet because I'm still working on it. But look at that side window. You open it. And now, let me get these wires. And now you close it. Um, I just have these wires here for now, like I said, but I got that side on. I'm still working on the passenger side and then I'm gonna do the wires and have a switch here in the center console. So stay tuned for that if you guys are interested because like I said, um, it's really a pain in the butt to try to get in the back and open the windows and close them and this way you have button, switch, whatever to open and close. Really easy to do it, not that expensive. Um, so like I said, stay tuned for that. The video is going to be coming up as soon as I'm done with it. Uh, and I guess that's it for today's video. If you guys this, if you guys like this video, uh, if it was helpful, hopefully it was, or you just like to watch the videos on DIY stuff like that, hit thumbs up, comment below if you guys have any questions, any suggestions or anything, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.